As Mariah said, my name is Dylan Reno. I am a recruiter for Securitas Security Services here in the state of Maine. I preferably, uh, or I, I primarily cover the uh, Southern Maine area. I work out of our office here in South Portland. Um, but having said that, Securitas is a very large organization. We are what's known as a security contracting company. So basically what that means is we provide security officers to different businesses. Um, we are in 59 different countries currently. Um, we have a presence in every state here in the US and here in the great state of Maine, we have a very large operation. Um, so we provide security services to about 65 different clients here in Maine. We have about 500 employees throughout the state. And the types of security services that we provide are uh, generally about five categories. We do security in corporate office environments. We do security in light industrial environments and warehouses and paper mills, things of that nature. Um, we do hotel security. We do college campus security and we do a lot of um, healthcare security. So various hospitals throughout the state of Maine. Um, and we have a very wide geographic range of the state that we cover. So some of the areas that we provide security to are um, York County, specifically Saco and Biddeford, um, York and Agunquit, the greater Portland area, specifically Westbrook, South Portland and Portland, um, Central Maine, which includes um, Lewis and Auburn area, as well as Winthrop and Augusta. We have clients in Brunswick, Rumford, um, Northern Maine, including Bangor, Presque Isle, Caribou, um, Holton, Callis, um, some areas of Maine that people have never even heard of before. Um, so we have a very, very wide uh, range of security services that we provide. Um, so we're currently hiring for about 20 different positions throughout the state. Um, basically, what we look for in order to be a successful security officer here with Securitas is your people skills. Um, we are very much a customer service oriented company. So we're looking for people who enjoy helping others and have a passion for safety and security. We do not look for any prior experience in security. Um, we take people with customer service backgrounds, food service industry backgrounds, um, law enforcement, military, just to name a few. But really it comes down to the people skills and we will hire and train the right people. Um, so we have a variety of positions available currently in all the different environments that I just listed. Um, specifically in Brunswick, we have several healthcare security positions. Um, in Rumford, we have uh, a security position at a mill. We have um, a position available in Winthrop in a warehouse environment. Um, the greater Portland area, we have uh, flex positions, which is essentially officers who travel throughout the greater Portland area um, to different sites as they're needed. Um, in order to work for Securitas, the, uh, the core requirements are having a high school diploma, being at least 18 years of age, and uh, some sites do require a driver's license, but not all of them do. Um, the career advancement opportunities for Securitas are, are very vast. Um, I've been a, a recruiter with Securitas for three years. We recently added a, another recruiter to our team for our Bangor office. And um, before he was a recruiter, he was a security officer at a hospital in Bangor for about a year. Um, the majority of our upper uh, management and our branch management, including our executive vice president started out as security officers before being promoted um, into the roles that they're in now. So um, we, we have all sorts of different background uh, or career opportunities for people. Um, even our human resources manager started out as a security officer. So it just shows you the number of different avenues that Securitas can take you because we are such a large company. There's a lot of different opportunities for different people. Um, so uh, that's kind of what we do in a nutshell. Every site that we provide security to is, is very different and very unique. Um, the general functions of the job are a lot of um, what is known as access control. So that could be greeting people at the front door of a building, uh, screening them in, checking their IDs, um, or greeting them at a gatehouse. If it's in a light industrial environment where we deal with a lot of truck drivers, um, we do a lot of routine patrolling of the facility. So that could be either a foot patrol or a uh, vehicle patrol if it's a larger campus where we actually do um, vehicle patrols around a facility. Um, so those are some of the sites uh, that would require having a, a driver's license if we're using a company vehicle. Um, 
we, uh, we, there's no real heavy lifting um, involved with the job, um, up to 20 pounds regularly, but it's really not a manual labor type position. Um, we do have to go hands-on more in healthcare environments because when we're working in hospital settings, we do deal with um, patients who sometimes are a little bit combative. Um, so we deal with people with mental health illnesses. We deal with um, people who are sometimes intoxicated and we're there to basically help the, the nursing staff. So it's really important that when we're working in hospitals that the nursing and doctors, um, the staff there, they feel safe working for us and they know that they can call on us if they are dealing with somebody who's being um, physically aggressive. So we provide in-depth training for, uh, for healthcare and restraint training. Um, you just have to have, a, again, a willingness for protecting and helping others. And kind of what I like to do when I'm meeting with somebody is just getting a feel for what they're looking for. Um, you know, I, I talk about your schedule preferences, uh, what kind of environment you can work in, where you can travel to, because all those things are what's gonna help me find what's gonna be the right fit for you. Um, because I could interview someone and there could be a number of different positions that uh, would be applicable to what someone's needs are. Um, because we are a 24 seven business. We are, uh, we very rarely get uh, the Monday through Friday day shift. A lot of what we get our second shift, third shift. So evenings or overnights, we do a lot of weekend um, uh, positions. So really great opportunities for college students. Um, we have a lot of schedules that are part-time that might be on the, the weekends or um, something that would work around your class schedule. Um, we can also accommodate um, seasonal schedules as well. Because of um, coronavirus, we actually have a lot of temporary details right now that are going throughout the summer. Um, we're working in retail environments such as uh, Walmart locations, uh, bank uh, locations where we are basically checking people in at the front door, um, counting people, making sure that there aren't too many people going into the stores. Um, and a lot of those are just lasting through the summer. And it's a great summer opportunity. You get to work outside, you get to help people, um, keep people safe. We do provide uh, masks and personal protective equipment for everyone because um, our officer safety is top priority. Um, we have opportunities for people who are um, looking for employment, even if it's for a year or two. We have a lot of uh, criminal justice students who come to work for us because um, they wanna get some experience. So if you're in college and you're going towards your criminal justice degree, or maybe you already have your degree and you're looking to attend the police academy and you just wanna get some experience under your belt, um, it's a really great opportunity to um, get some firsthand experience and as, as well as some networking experience. We work in a lot of um, healthcare environments where you're working directly with law enforcement. Um, especially in the Bangor area, we have a lot of uh, great criminal justice programs at Huston, University of Maine, um, uh, Beale College, and we have a lot of healthcare sites right in that general area. So um, when students work for us as criminal justice student, uh, students, they can work for us for anywhere from a year to four years. And while you're working as a healthcare security officer, you're working directly with um, local law enforcement who oftentimes will recruit our officers directly onto the, uh, their police departments after they go through the, the Criminal Justice Academy. Um, in fact, uh, two of our three district managers here in the state of Maine uh, came to Securitas with that exact intention. They wanted to get some experience in security before going into law enforcement and they ended up just working their way up the, uh, the ladder here and built very successful careers for themselves and, and ended up staying. So. Um, you know, we're, we're very accommodating depending on what kind of uh, employment you're looking for or how long you're looking to work for us. Dylan, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Mariah. It was absolutely a pleasure. And thank you all for listening. And I hope to hear from many of you soon. Yes, thank you. And take care. Be you safe. You as well. Thank you. Thanks.